to thank you on behalf of the Occupational Health and Safety Section of the American Public Health Association for inviting us here today. The other kind of exciting aspect of this work is to discover new quote unquote diseases, period. I have in mind that I believe it is true that I was the first uh, writing uh, clinician to speak about chronic cadmium poisoning. And of course, as you all know, there's been a large literature from Scandinavia and Britain uh, on the subject uh, since 1946. The period, what I did that I found so fascinating, I uh, had the right of entry with an ID card that I carried, but more than one factory used the World War II questionable secrecy act to keep me out. But this particular plant, they invited me in, and I had, uh, stop me if I'm talking too long, I had been to the library at Harvard and found some very old literature on what cadmium could do. And uh, I was able to identify in this relatively small plant um, a cadmium causing a serious gastrointestinal trouble, uh, cadmium causing changes in bone, and uh, cadmium causing disturbance in liver function. And in looking at the plant, uh, later with an engineer, what we found was uh, they were using a big witch's cauldron to mix what cadmium um, compounds they wanted to use and generating a lot of gas that car or vapor that carried cadmium. And the man who was uh, taking care of the, um, what do you call them, uh, up in the air, <laughs> uh, you don't call him a lift, he's way up in the air and he's taking samples and so on. He had so much trouble he stayed in his cabin during lunch hour. And sure enough, he had kind of serious cadmium poisoning. And then we found, parenthetically, cadmium was used as a war gas in World War I, and I think a little in World War II. We found three or four of the men who worked at the, at the cauldron where the, uh, the stuff was melted um, had uh, respiratory changes that we could measure on lung function studies. So there was a nice little rounded out uh, cause and effect because there were no other materials being used in this sort of big uh, airplane hangar sort of workplace. So I wrote that up and only took about two ba pages uh, to do the thing and sent it to a journal that shall be nameless and they turned it down because they, they said they knew there was no such thing as chronic ca cadmium poisoning. And I found out later the editor was a, was a consultant for the company that made the cadmium that this company used and was also a con consultant of the company 